Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of this video. If you haven't checked out part 1 where I talk about the FPG documents attestation in your home country, then make sure to check the link pinned in the description. Watch this video till the very end because I will be discussing the latest updates on the required documents, the fee structure, and the deadline for the exam. Now let's dive in into the first step of your FPG journey in UN. I was running super late on my FPG deadline and I also got unfortunate with my first TOEFL attempt. So I had to re-register, pay the fee again and go all the way to another city to retake it. So believe me, I know it's hard to pass it in your first go when your first language is not English. So the sooner you apply for this exam, the more chances you will get if you need to retake it before the FPG deadline. So to do this, you would have to make your account on ETS, the Educational Testing Service. So let's dive in and see how to set it up. Log into www.ets.org and register for the exam. Now you need to select TOEFL and sign in. Register for a test. And here you will see the three versions of TOEFL. The first one is TOEFL IBT at Test Center. The second one is the TOEFL IBT Home Edition. And the third one is the TOEFL Essentials. Now you need to select TOEFL IBT at Test Center, which is the requirement of the board. Now notice that TOEFL IBT can only be taken in US and few countries that are mentioned in the official bulletin of FPG. Now register for this exam. Now here you can enter the location of the test center that is based on your current location. You can select the dates of the month that are most convenient to you. Select the test center based on your current location and the time frame that is most convenient to you. Now here you can see multiple dates available for your TOEFL exam. Click on the date that you want and here you will see the full information of the test center along with the test fee and the times available for your test on that date. Now click on the time that you want to take your test. Now start filling in your personal details. I've entered mine. Now hit on continue and start adding your background information. Enter your degree and the year of your enrollment. Now hit continue. Now here you need to add your school recipient, which is going to be NABP, the National Association Boards of Pharmacy. And they're the ones that will receive your passing TOEFL score directly through ETS. So that is a very important step and you need to do it. Now here, either you can order the online school report only or the school report along with the paper mailed to you on your address. Now read the acknowledgement and click on add to cart and it's done. Go to www.nabp.com and make your account. After making your account, you would have to submit the following documents to NABP via mail. Following are the documents required for FPG. The first one is the FPG attestation form. I've pinned the link in the description. The second one is the copy of your passport, driver's license, or ID card that you can get notarized from a printing shop in US. Note that the following statement has to be mentioned on each photocopy by the official. The third one is the pharmacy license that you got attested from your home country. Then comes the two passport pictures in which one has to be notarized in such a way that half sign is on the picture and half on the form. Do not staple, instead use tape or glue. The fifth one is your ECE report that would be sent directly by ECE, so you don't have to worry about that. 
and the sixth one is your passing TOEFL score that would also be sent directly by ETS. NABP has increased their fee effective from March 1st, 2024. Now the whole application process will cost you $650, breaking it down to $100 administrative fee and $550 for a document evaluation fee. Once your passing TOEFL scores are in, which is 21 listening, 22 reading, 24 writing, and 26 speaking, which usually takes around 10 days to be sent to NABP, your evaluation process will begin on that date, which will typically take around 8 weeks or 2 months. But don't worry, if you're running a bit late on your FPG deadline like I was, then there is a good news for you. They hire additional staff in the last few weeks to process any pending applications, which means you might still be able to sit for the exam. So don't lose hope and keep preparing. Before moving on to step 3, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, then hit on the subscribe button because my next video will be on the tips to pass your TOEFL exam. After your NABP evaluation is done, your status on your NABP dashboard will be changed to accepted, and then you will need to purchase your FPG exam. Now, FPG have also increased their fee to $750, breaking it down to $100 administrative fee and $650 for the examination. After scheduling for your exam, you will receive an ATT electronically, which is your authorization to test, and within a few days, you will receive an FPG identification card, FIC, on your mailing address with your name and roll number on it. And this is the card that you're gonna show in your exam center along with the ID that was approved by FPG. So don't forget to bring these two documents on the day of your exam. One important thing, the exam occurs every year in the month of October, so you must be registered for your FPG before September 1st because they stop accepting any applications after that. So make sure you have a time frame of three or more months to apply before the deadline. Thank you guys for staying up till the very end. Best of luck for your documents and see you in the next video.